Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl V Queen here and I'm back with a brand new video. Yes, as you may have guessed by this video's title, if you have not already heard, Be My Eyes is now available for Windows. That means that you can not only now have Be My Eyes and Be My AI on your phone, but you can also have it now on your Windows computer as well. So I'm going to be demonstrating how this new Windows app works for you guys today. But before we get into it, please remember to like the video if you love the content, subscribe if you're new, and to turn on that notification bell to be alerted whenever I post a new video. Remember that you can also find all my video resources as well as other helpful resources and my apps on my website vcoin.com. That is T-H-E-E-Q-U-I-N-N.com. Also note that the instrumentals for this video have been provided by Inner Sanctum Entertainment LTD. But without further ado, let's get right into it. So for those of you who did not watch my video on Be My AI, this awesome new AI feature for the Be My Eyes application that we have on our phones, you have to go back and watch that right now. It was such an amazing tool, trust me. It was so descriptive when you took pictures with it and you could ask it more questions about the pictures. It was awesome, trust me. So you have to go back and watch that video right now. So it will give you some background into what we're going to be doing today. No. For those of you who have watched the video already, let's get right into it. So first, you have to install the new Be My Eyes app for Windows. So currently, it is now only available on the Microsoft Store, right? So you can go into the Microsoft Store and search for Be My Eyes. Or I think I'll also have a download link down below in the description. So I already have mine downloaded. So let me go ahead and pull it up. Start window. B. Be my eyes app. Be my eyes. Be my eyes window. Continue with email button. All right. So the first thing when you open the application, when you just install it, it is going to ask you to log in or sign up in some way. So just like on your phone, we give you the option to sign up or log in with email, with Google, things like that. So let me tap to hear the different options in here. Continue with Google button. By the way, the main navigation key for the app is your tab key. So I'm just going to keep tabbing. Continue with Apple button. Continue with Facebook button. Continue with email button. All right. So those are all the options that you have to log in. When I was trying to sign up with Google, I got a little error. I'm not sure why, because I set it up on someone else's computer and it worked for them. So I'm just going to go ahead and use continue with email instead. Terms of service link. All right. So here they're just giving their privacy policy and terms of service. So let me tap again. Privacy policy link. I agree button. So you can read this if you want, but I'm just going to press enter on I agree. Describe my screen left paren, shortcut control plus alt plus h right paren, button. Awesome. So now we're here in the interface. The first button we have here is describe my screen. Let's tap again. Take picture using built-in camera left paren, shortcut control plus alt plus j right paren, button. All right. It allows you to take a picture using the built-in camera on your computer. Tab again. Describe picture from file explorer left paren, shortcut control plus alt plus k right paren, button. Awesome. And it also describes a picture from file explorer. Let's see if there are any other options. Describe clipboard left paren, shortcut control plus alt plus l right paren, button. So if you have a picture copied, it can describe that as well. Let's tab again. Be my AI tab selected one of two level one. And it has two tabs here. You have the Be My AI tab. Let me press my right arrow. Settings tab 2 of 2 level 1. And you have the settings tab. Great. Let's go back left arrow to the Be My AI tab. Be My AI tab selected 1 of 2 level 1. And let's tab to the first button. Describe my screen left paren. Shortcut control plus alt plus h right paren button. Let me press enter on this option and see what comes up. Be My AI tab selected 1 of 2 level 1. Please wait. Be My AI is writing a message. The message on the screen says colon, quote your email address was successfully confirmed. Open the app to finish creating your account. Quote. Okay, so it seems to describe the screen of whatever you have opened behind the Be My Eyes app, which would be my Google Chrome window at the moment. Let me try going to my desktop. Folder view list. And then let's navigate to Be My Eyes again. Be My Eyes row 1. 
Be my eyes. Now let's try that describe the screen button again. Send message button. Back button. Let's press enter on back. Describe my screen left paren. Alright, let's press enter on describe my screen again. Be my AI tab selected one of two. Please wait. Be my AI is writing a message. Your desktop has several icons arranged in a grid. Here are the icons visible colon, top row colon, dash TQ transcriber dash my logos dash fubar 2000, second row colon, dash the dash chrome dash gold wave dash web gleam third row colon, dash recycle bin dash ms word dash javascript fourth row colon, dash adobe acrobat dash virtual recorder dash regate dot zip dash java dash bible fifth row colon, dash fs reader 3.0 dash zoom sixth row colon, dash google chrome dash visual, studio code dash git bash dash womp server 64, seventh row colon, Dash Jaws 2020 The background is a black screen with a splash of green and yellow liquid in the center dash right. So it now describes my desktop. So that is how you get it to describe your screen. First, you navigate to the application or the screen that you want it to describe. Then you hold down your alt and keep pressing tab until you get back to the Be My Eyes window. Then once you press describe your screen, it should describe that screen that is directly behind the Be My Eyes app. Let's tab and ask it some more about the picture. Back button. Be My AI tab selected one of two level one. List. Your image one of two. Question to ask the AI edit blank. Alright, let's type in a question here. Let's ask it to describe the Zoom logo. P L E A S E space D E S C R I B E space T A E space Z O O M space L O G O. Let's tab. Send message button. And press enter. Please wait. Be My AI is writing a message. The Zoom logo is a blue circle with a white video camera icon in the center. The camera icon is simple and stylized, representing the video conferencing function of the Zoom application. Be my eyes. Awesome! So that's it for the describe my screen option. So you can allow it to describe your screen and ask it more about the image. So let's try out a different option. So let's go to the back button. Back button. And press enter. Describe my screen left paren. Alright, now let's tap to the next option. Take picture using built-in camera left paren, shortcut control plus alt plus j right paren. Button. All right, so let's allow it to take a picture using the built-in camera. So it's going to take a picture of me. So let's press enter on this. Take photo button. All right, let's press enter on take photo. Back button. Please wait. Be my AI is writing a message. The image shows a person sitting indoors. The person is wearing a pink sleeveless top and has a headset with a microphone on their head. The room has purple walls, and there is a window with decorative metal bars and a curtain to the right of the person. The lighting in the room is dim, with some light coming through the window. There is also a ceiling fan visible on the upper left side of the image. That is pretty 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 accurate. Let's tab to it and ask it more. Back button. Be my AI tab selected one of two level one. List. Your image one of two. Question to ask the AI edit blank. Alright, let's ask it what is the expression on the person's face. Dub A A T space S P T S E X P R E F I O N S O S E R S O N T S P A A F A C E. Question. Send message button. Please wait. Be my AI is writing a message. The person's facial expression appears to be neutral, with their lips slightly pursed. Awesome, so you see that the take my picture is very accurate as well. It described me accurately, trust me. <laughs> Alright, and you know that you can ask it more about the image. Now let's go back. Back button. And let's try the next option. Take picture using built-in camera left. Describe picture from file explorer left paren. Shortcut control plus alt plus k right paren. Button. Let's press enter. Be my AI tab. Open dialog file name colon. File name. Alright, so it's prompting me to open an image from my computer. Let me choose my logo. So let me go ahead and find it. I custom office template. Tree. D. Downloads collapsed. Doc. Desktop collapse. Items. M. My logo. Items view. M. Selected. Alright, let's press enter on it. So this should be my little mascot logo that I use for my channel. Be my eyes. Be my. Please wait. Be my AI is writing a message. The image shows a cartoon dash style character with a blue, fuzzy body. It has one large eye in the center of its face, covered partially by a dark blue eyelid. The character has a wide, toothy grin with a pink tongue visible. It has two arms, each ending in a three-dash fingered hand, and one of the hands is holding a small yellow object. 
The background is black, making the blue character stand out prominently. Alright, so this is definitely, definitely, definitely accurate. Because I'm the one who designed this logo myself, so I know how it is. This is definitely accurate. So let's go ahead and try out the next option. Back button. Describe my screen left paren. First, let me go to Google and copy an image. New tab dash Google. Let me actually search for a picture of a dog on Google. F U F L Y space D O G. Google.com slash search. Let me make sure that I filter it by images. Click turn off X X search navigation landmark navigation landmark clickable list with six items images link. All right, let's press enter on this. Fluffy dog dash Google search. All right, now let's press my G key to navigate by graphics. Clickable main landmark list with 50 items, the 12 fluffiest dogs ever graphic button. All right, so here's a graphic. Let me press my applications key on it. Menu selected sub -me Open image in new tab. Save image. It. Copy image Y3 of 7. All right, let's press enter on this. Fluffy dog dash Google search. Do let's go back to be my eyes. Be my eyes row one. Be my eyes. Be my eyes window. Describe my screen left paren. Shortcut can Let's tap to that describe from clipboard option. Take picture. Describe picture. Describe clipboard left paren. And let's press enter. Be my AI. Please wait. Be my AI is writing a message. The image shows a fluffy, white dog walking towards the camera on a grassy lawn. The dog has a thick coat of fur, a bushy tail, and is panting with its tongue hanging out. In the background, there are green plants with long, narrow leaves. The dog appears to be happy and energetic. Alright, so that is it for the four options that we have for describing images. Now, let us go ahead and see what we can find in the settings for the application. So let's press the back button, so let's tap to it. Back button. Describe my screen. Alright, let's tap to where we have the tabs. Take pic. Describe. Describe. Be my AI tab selected one of two level one. Let's press my right arrow to go to settings. Settings tab two of two level one. Press enter, then press tab. Sounds enabled toggle button pressed. Alright, so this toggle button allows you to enable or disable sounds. So you know that sound that you hear when the image is processing? Yeah, probably that sound. So you can use your space bar to enable or disable it. Terms of service link. You can view their terms of service. Privacy policy link. You can view their privacy policy. Send us feedback button. You can send them feedback. Help center button. You have help center. Log out button. You have the button to log out. Facebook link. Twitter slash X link. YouTube link. Instagram link. Back button. So it's practically just that one setting in here as well as the log out button. And to get back to the Be My AI tab, you tab again. Settings tab selected two of two level one. Press your left arrow. Be My AI tab one of two level one. And press your enter. Then want to tab again. Describe my screen left paren. Awesome. So that is it for the Be My Eyes app for Windows. If you know how the Be My Eyes app for the phone is, it's pretty much the same thing but for your computer instead, right? So this application is awesome. If you had thought anything about the Be My Eyes app on the phone and the Be My AI feature, this is great for us, trust me, on the computer. This was something that we definitely needed. But that is it guys for today's demonstration on the Be My Eyes app for Windows. Trust me, it's an awesome application and if you don't have it yet, you need to get it now. But thank you guys for watching today's video. As usual, be sure to like the video if you love the content, subscribe if you're new, and to turn on that notification bell to be alerted whenever I post a next video. Also remember to share the video with your friends so that they can benefit from it as well. And remember that you can search for and find all my video content as well as my apps on my website at vqueen.com. That link will also be down below in the description. But thanks again for watching guys. Remember that I love you and I'll see you next time.